Do you know that bees and butterflies need certain plants to survive? Asters, black-eyed Susan, lupine, sage, and daylily all grow well in Alberta and are excellent pollinator plants. Daylilies are a perennial plant and the flowers only last a day or so. They open in the early morning and wither during the heat. Some are even night blooming, becoming many different colors. Sage is a low-growing bush that grows up to two feet. Sage can be blue, scarlet, or pink. Did you know that sage is in the mint family and is edible? These beautiful flowers can be blue or purple. Blue pines are a toxic rare flower that grow well in Waterton National Park. They need at least six hours of direct sunlight. They bloom in spring and summer. Their fruit pods contain several seeds. Black-eyed Susan is also known as coneflower, or brown-eyed Susan, that bloom from May until September. These plants are found in prairies and fields that live for six to ten days long and show a bright yellow, gold, or bronze color with a dark brown center. Asters can be found on the roadside. These daisy-like flowers have big, green, leafy branches. Asters come in many different colors, such as blue, white, pink, and purple. Asters bloom in the fall to give bees and butterflies nectar. You can help by planting these in your garden at home. Plant them where they get lots of sun. Mulch can also help the soil from dry soil from drying out. Plant them these leaves um keep them dry and water them by the base. We know you can do this because we did it at our school. First, we participated in the encounters, CWF series, powerful pollinators. They help us order free plants, but you can also get these at any local hardware store. Look for the Canadian Wildlife Federation symbol on the package. You can also contact beesmatter.ca to order free seeds for your garden. Through bare wire recycling, our class was challenged to collect used Christmas lights and extension cords in order to keep them out of landfill. The money we raised will be used to buy more plants to put in our pollinator garden at school. Please help us plant more plants for our bees and butterflies. We challenge you to plant your own pollinator garden just like us. The world needs more plants.